I like the things that he spoke against. He, I mean, he spoke against a lot of things that a lot of people were just, they just didn't want to talk about. Things that you don't want to discuss. Like, why don't you want to discuss this? Like I said, personally, last time that you lost the footage, uh, my mother, she was Mexican, Native American Mexican. Uh, her father was born and raised in Mexico. Um, and she unfortunately had a horrible experience growing up. Trump was right. The honest truth is Trump is right. And I, I know because my mother went through it. All right? they, there are terrible people coming across the border bringing drugs, crime, rape. It's no joke. They're not lying. It's terrible. And if, if, a, if somebody had done something like this about this a long time ago, if someone built a wall or at least enforced the laws we already had in place, I believe my mother would still be alive to this day. And I know more than just her. I've met a couple of people who have experienced some of these things, and it's really bizarre. Unfortunately, I know them now today, and they're actually on the other side. They're on the Antifa side, fighting against this. It's mind blowing. I don't believe it. How could, literally, I'm, someone I know, as a little girl, was raped by an illegal immigrant, an illegal immigrant, multiple times, and grew up and became one of them, fighting against, fighting against stopping that from happening. And it just makes me sick. I don't, I don't get it. And, I, and when, I, when I actually, this, this person, I didn't see her for seven years, when I finally ran into her, I, I was just stunned to see that she was, she told me, you for Trump? Yuck, bar. that's what she said. I was out there protesting that shit. Like, did you even hear what he said? Did you even hear what he said? Do you, I don't know, I don't want to feel like I'm ranting. Sometimes I, it, it means a lot to me, you know, that girl meant a lot to me, almost as much as I love my mother. And... I just don't understand why people want to stop this. They want to stop. They want to. How do I explain it? They want to stop people from stopping the rain, I guess. Uh, um, it does feel like flip flopping. But I, I did listen to Alex Jones, who was one of the first people to report on his flip flopping, also said he's not flip flopping, he's negotiating. And I do like the sound of that. that um, I understand that, you know, who doesn't understand? We're Trump supporters here. He's a deal man. He's got to make deals. He's got to, I, I guess he, you know, he can't always get what you want, but sometimes you just might find you get what you need. <laughs> well, no, I had to work today. I wasn't going to show up. I thought everything was going to go well. I actually just posted, you saw it. My, I was calling for a rally the other day and then just, like a day and a half later, there it is. It was too soon for me, I had to work. Um, so, I was gonna, um, I was just gonna work, but then I started getting hit up by people that I met here in Berkeley and saying, you know, I gotta be here. I hit up my boss, told him what was going on, people need me here, people want me here. And he said, just show up for me in the morning, do some work, and yeah, go ahead. You, you, you said, yes. So I was able to come. And I really, it really it wasn't because people were, I mean, it was because people were calling me in, and because I found out she wasn't going to speak. I wasn't going to show up because she was going to speak. It wasn't until I found out that, that everyone wanted to gather to protect free speech. I hate spineless Republicans who can't back us up. That's why, honestly, I have my shirt that says Republican with a box, blank. Democrat with a box, blank. The Donald with a box, check mark, okay? Fuck the government. I don't trust them. of the speech is in the Constitution. If it doesn't say it, it's not there. If it doesn't say anything about hate speech, then there is no hate speech. No, I was there. I mean, I showed up, we got here about 2.15, 2.30. I didn't see him. I saw Laura Sutherland. I saw, um, uh, what's his name from We Are Change. I didn't see anybody else. I didn't see. I didn't see Gavin. I was hoping to see him. I, I got it. We, we got pictures with Basic Dick Man, which is cool. We saw Basic Dick Man again. Uh, he was busy on the phone a lot. It's kind of odd. But he was like our police. That was cool. He was our police officer. He was keeping us separated from them while the police kept them separated from us. Thumbs up for that. Thanks, Basic Man. Guide us if you can. No, they kept them separated. And kept us all well separated. Yeah. I like... I know, actually, for a long time, I was kind of mixed when I first started watching the Infowars. I was actually watching Young Turks first. I did like a lot of the stuff they were doing. And then I was when I would play something, I would kind of get it mixed up. Is this Young Turks or is this 
someone else, and then I started learning who InfoWars was and see, okay, there's a difference. Right. And then I started learning more about what the Young Turks were actually doing, and I mean, before that, I was watching, and I was still into their stuff, but it started feeling like they were just spending half of the time of the video telling, giving their opinion and telling you what you see and how you should feel. I would say order the bison steak and then see if maybe you can drop me a couple of G's to help get a bison ranch going and uh, maybe I'll ship you some free steaks. We'll call them Trump steaks. What do you think? I'd be like, hey, yeah, President, yeah, give him another shot. Okay. Chinese President, because you were talking about that cake. Oh, that chocolate cake? Yeah. Oh. I was hoping to get my hands on some uh, Trump vodka before the inauguration, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I tried to order some Trump steaks. I couldn't find any of these products anymore. The skewered buffalo steak on a stick over the fire in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Uh, yep, yeah, it was God's country. I think it was the U2 band that called it God's country. By the way, happy 30th anniversary of the U2 uh, band, Joshua Tree. That was uh, shot, the cover of the photo was shot out there in the Mojave Desert. We went out on 420, the day of 420, for the U2, well it was 420, <laughs> but it was also the U2 Joshua Tree 30th anniversary, which was awesome, please look that up, U2's awesome. I don't want to imagine that I'm going to get sick thinking about that. No, I don't want to say anything, honestly. Personally, I think I think the milk has been drunk on saying mean things about Hillary. Um, so I don't really want to say any mean things about Hillary. I, I, truthfully, I don't. And, um, I know that there was a lot of people who actually truly believed that Hillary would do something. One of my neighbors really, really liked Hillary. But the truth is that when the election first started, she said, I would like to see Hillary win, but I think her hands are too dirty. By the time the end, when it was running down to Cruz and Trump and Bernie and uh, uh, Hillary, when it got that close, she didn't even remember saying that. It never happened. It was Hillary or nothing, and Hillary can do no wrong. It is, I, I, can't, I can't say I don't remember you saying that, because... I, you said it! <laughs> you did say her hands were too dirty. She did say her hands were too dirty. But um, she is one of those she is one of those good uh, liberals who you can, to a degree, have a decent conversation with, though it is getting a little tough ever since the election. It's getting bitter. Bitter, yeah. yeah becoming very negative and, and everything kind of seems to turn political. And there doesn't really seem to be anything positive to be discussed political for any level these days anymore. Positive things from the media. It seems to be all doom and gloom. And I, I don't want to bash Christianity in any way. I think I got this. But and when I was younger, that's kind of why I started disliking Christianity, because they used the same method. It was all turn or burn, doom and, doom and gloom. You need to convert and be with us, or you're going to perish. That's the liberal method. Doom and gloom, turn or burn. If you don't, if you don't, you're all going to die if you don't jump on board with the liberal left Democrat party. They hijacked uh, that method. Yeah, I just, I don't get it. And they're so anti-Christian, too. Oh yeah, well if you want to check me out, I got Crowman17 is on YouTube. Um, I mostly do, I do a lot of wildlife, I do a, little, a lot of politics, I like recording animals and um, what else do I do? Fishing, I love fishing. I usually go out to Santa Cruz and I try to post videos of us catching uh, cod in Santa Cruz and other, other things. It's not all politics, but um, this is what I'm mostly involved in right now and it's really Oh my god, it's getting the more views than anything else. I also do construction videos. Most of the best video I got right now, pretty much the only video I got right now, is um, uh, how to replace a mill guard window, the flame frame. Uh, it's mostly called reglazing. Check that out too. But I got great politics stuff, and I come here to Berkeley, and we do the Battle of Berkeleys. Uh, we've done them all. I've done them all so far, and I'm surprised that I. The only one I wasn't here for was uh, Milo. I only heard about that one on the news after it happened, while the rioting was going on. But I decided that after that, they want a war. They're going to get a war. And so far, it is so in our favor. Oh, yeah. Fucking kicking ass. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Skrilla Sam. Skrilla Sam, he's got a great YouTube video, uh, his YouTube channel, too. He's a rapper. Uh, his family's from Ethiopia. He's a great guy. San Jose rapper.